hi guys so in this video i'll show you how to use mouse event so this is where we left off on the previous video right so now what i'll do is i'll create some buttons so when you click the button some things will happen so to create the button uh, what you can do is on right click on this uh, hierarchy here go to ui and then use a button so click on this button and uh, this button will be added now in the scene uh, you'll be seeing a large button like this so don't worry about it actually this is how unity works so this thing that you're seeing here it is a completely different thing than uh, this button i mean this 3d scene so don't need to make it small or anything okay just uh, it will be like this so that is how unity works now i'll make the button in the center so i'll you know uh, i can use this position on the x and y to make it zero zero and it will be on the center or you can come back like this you can just press f once and it will be focusing there and then you can zoom out like this once selected the button so uh, you can just you know drag it like uh, you can use this tool this is a great tool for moving buttons so you can just move the button like this maybe i'll put it here down there somewhere now I'll make it smaller a little bit. Pressing down Alt, I can do it like this. So this will be my. Let's I'll put a text here. I'll call it as enable. Okay. So I want to, uh, and also I'll just rename this button to enable or something, so that uh, I know what which is this button. Now uh, I'll put one more button, one more button on the top of this enable button, and I'll put it as uh, disable. So I'll put it as disable. I'll change the text as disable as well. So what should happen is when I press the enable button, the ball should appear. And when I press the disable button, the ball should disappear. So there are two methods to do that. We can use code. We can write a code and we can call that function when you press the button or uh, using Unity's built-in thing, we can do it. I'll show you the easier method first. So using Unity's built-in thing. So when I disable the sphere, what should happen is in this football, what I, we'll just uncheck this thing, right? So that's how we disable an object in Unity. Whatever is the object, you just disable this checkbox. So actually you can disable other things also. If you disable this rotation script here, and if I hit play, now if you see if i uh, press any key it doesn't work it doesn't move once i check the enable box now it moves right also guys i'll change the rotation to you know movement so instead of this i'll put the code as position okay so i'll show you now what happens So it is disabled, so I'll enable that and oh the speed is very fast. I'll just put it 0, 1. See it is moving, right? If I click disable, now it is not moving. I'm pressing the button but it is not moving. So that is how you do that. Uh, enabling or disabling things. If I disable the this thing, then the entire object is disabled. If I enable this thing, then the object is enabled. So we can do two things either we can enable or disable this script so that we can't move the ball or you can disable the entire object i'll show you both so first let's do with the disabling the entire object so how we'll do this is first select the button that you wanted to execute the command so maybe the first you want disable button scroll down on the inspector tab and in the button component you'll see this on click right so here you have to tell which things you wanted to do when you click a button so I'll press the plus button. Now it is asking for an object, like which thing you wanted to do. I mean, which ob on which object that thing you wanted to do. So we want to drag and drop this football in this. Okay. So select the button in this field, just drag and drop this football, right? Now it is asking which function to execute. So currently no function is selected. Click here. Now. We wanted to disable this thing, right? So this thing comes under game object. So it is not written here. See, similar like position is comes under transform. Then uh, there is this mesh renderer. Then there is this 
football rotation script if you see in this thing see all the components are there game object transform is there mesh render is there football rotation is there so as of now we just wanted to go to the game object and wanted to do set active right set active a boolean value is asking so set active is this this boolean parameter this name of this boolean parameter is set active so when i uh, uncheck this if i hit play now see if i press the disable button it is actually uh, unchecking this box right again if i press it is doing nothing because it is already unchecked it is again making it unchecked so to enable that what i'll do is same thing i'll do it in the enable function now so I'll click this plus button i'll drag this football and i'll do game object set active true so now if i hit play if i click the disable button it is gone if you click enable button it came back right so that's how you do this now um, obviously i can use my arrow keys to move so if i enable this oh the speed is very high actually just uh, i'll make it 0 0.01 yeah so if i hit play and if uh, i can move it right if i disable it it is gone again if i enable it will come at the, that same position and i can move it so that's how it works now same thing let's say you wanted to do using a code right so using a code i wanted to disable this object so for that case you can write a script so this time we will not write the script on the football game object itself because uh, if i disable this then we can't have access to this script so instead i'll create a script on top of any object i want actually so i can create on top of this canvas object or i can create on the main camera doesn't matter uh, it, just make sure it is not the football so go to the canvas let's say i'll create it on canvas add a script i'm going to call it as button manager any name you can give so this is added now i'll open it up so this is uh, how the function looks like now we don't need any start or update function here uh, so i'll create a public function public void um my function i'll give it a name as my function here i'll just print a value you call me okay so when i call this function it should print this value right so how do i call this function now if you see i need to uh, get access to this button manager script right so on uh, let's say on the enable button i'll do now so i'll remove this i'll add a blank slot again this time it is asking for my object now this time i'll not give any football or something like that i'll give the canvas because i wrote the script on top of canvas right this script is on top of canvas now i'll go here and i'll select button manager and then i'll select the my function right I will not have access to this script if I didn't put, didn't drop this object. So make sure that you uh, drop this canvas onto this button. So let's see what happens when I hit the play button. So I'll hit the play button. So currently nothing is happening. I'll put the uh, play, uh, press the enable button and see it, it is executing this line. So it is actually working now we have to put our code what we want in that function here so what we wanted to do is uh, first i'll get a reference to the game object so i want a reference of this game object this football object so i'll create a public vo um, public game object here and i'll give it as uh, football okay any name you can give then what i'll do is i'll change this name from my function to enable that and i'll say uh, football dot set active true so i'm enabling the football same thing i'll do here so public void disable that here again i'll do football dot set active this time i'll do false so i'm disabling the object same thing i'm accessing right so football is the game object 
dot set active i'm doing and then i'm setting false or true just the same that we did uh, previously without using code right same thing game object dot set active now uh, what we can do is if you see in the canvas this button manager script there is an empty slot here it is asking for a game object right football game object so you can drag this football here okay now it is referencing that football game object make sure that you do this this is very important otherwise the code will not work that is uh, it is an important thing to do now on come to this enable button remove this thing add again add this canvas here go to the functions choose button manager and do enable that same thing with the disable so i'll remove this add another one put the canvas and put disable that save it hit play and you can see if i press disable it is disabled if i press enable it is enabled so this th this time it is using the code and it is executing these lines of code when you press the button so that's how you do the uh, mouse events